Hey guys, this is James Tony Videos here, and today I'm going to be doing my first ever Nerf gun review. This is really exciting for me because I've always been seeing Nerf gun reviews, and I've always wanted to do one of my own. Um, my first gun that I'm going to review is the Clear Nerf Recon CS6. I'm going to do normal view, goods and the bads. For, I'm going to show you what it comes with, then I'm going to do the goods and the bads, then I'm going to do the firing test. Okay, start off with, with, with what this gun comes with. I'm going to show you this little light aimer thingy. I don't even know what it's called. What it's called. Um, you see, it's there's, hopefully you can see that. Uh, see, it's like it has like a little red dot form, and then what you and then like. What you can do is then you can use this little slider right here, slide it forward, and then you have a tactical light. See, that's the tactical light. Tactical light. Uh. So this is the tactic. This is the tactical light. Hopefully you can see it like there. So there's the tactical light. There's the red dot. Okay. Okay, this is the light, light aimer. Okay, then it comes also comes with barrel attachment. Um, this is the barrel attachment it comes with. And this is the barrel attachment for the normal recon. See, they look pretty much the same, except this one's in clear. Um, and this barrel attachment make, just makes it more accurate. And it has two tactical rails right here and here. Two tactical rails. Um, okay. Next is the flip up sight. How to use it is you simply, um, if you twisted it this way, then it will unlock it. Then you can slide it up and down. Framing for um, for for further away targets, you slide it up, and for closer targets, um, you slide it down. And what you do is then um, see how it's sliding around right here to lock it. So what you do is you just turn it. See this little like indentation right here, or just right there. See a little indentation like right under the scope right there. Hopefully, I'm pointing to it. I can't even see my finger. Yes, I am pointing to it. You just twist this. Wait, you just twist this this way. You just twist this this way. So then this little indentation right there is facing sideways. That's how you lock, um, unlock it and lock it. Okay. And this just simply folds in. It can attach to any tactical rail. Then. The perpetual stock, which can hold one extra clip, it just slides in right there. Pretty simple stock. Hold it up to your shoulder. Just makes it um, more steady. You put this up against your shoulder. Well, some people put it under their shoulder, but I just put it over my shoulder because if you have it under your shoulder, then it's kind of hard to bend down and look through and look through the scope if you have one on. I just put it up against my shoulder so I can just go like this. Um. Okay. And then the initial blaster. Um. This and it also just comes with one clip, just one. Um. I know. I. You do you usually put it in right here and then you can pull put another one right in here. And it only comes with one clip, so you're gonna have to buy another one. Yeah, that's nurse way of making money. Um one of her nurse in many ways to make money. Uh, anyway, and then it comes with this main blaster. You load it right here. Fire it. I didn't have the clip in, so of course it didn't fire. And then it also comes with six of these special red darts. Um, this is the normal dart. This, this is the normal dart. See the color difference? All the clear series guns that ha that run on clip system have these. 
six of them come with them. This, um, this is the normal one that normally comes with the normal blasters, and this is the one that comes with the cl the clear ones. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, and now I'm going to go on to the goods and the bads. Okay, I'm going to do the goods first. Oops. <laughs> I need my voice a little high there. Okay, my camera's low on battery, so I really have to go. Um, like, quickly. Uh, the first good about this gun is... Um, it has this little holder thingy right here, so you can store an extra dart. So if you, like, run out of darts in this gun, and you have, like, another different gun. Like, for example, you have, like, the reflex of the scout, or, like, one... And you run out of darts in that. Um, then, like, the enemy, like, comes up to you and just, like, has his gun up against your head, or whatever. Then you, like, just pull the extra dart out of there. You put it in your, um, reflex or scout, or whatever handgun you have. And you just fire it at the opponent and then they lose well if you're doing like a one shot kill or whatever um the next good about this gun is that it's clip system which is just awesome i i i just love the clip system because well simply it's awesome like you can store extra clips and it's easy to just pull it out you just, you just, wait, Jeez, I really gotta stop loading it, you just pull this back, put this little switch, the clip comes out, you get another one, put it in, and then you're ready to go, it's just so simple and easy. Um, put this in, okay, um, the next good about this gun is it has this little attachment on this. On this part right here, so you can put the um, deploy strap or the bandolier kit. I have both. On this one, you can also attach it to this one. So you can just hang it over your shoulder. And also, the next good about this gun is it is so many different... It comes with five different parts that you can attach. It comes with five different parts. Four of them. The stock, the rail attachment, the, the stock, the, other, the things you can attach to the other gun... It comes with four of those are the stock. This can attach to any other gun that it has a stock holder. The flip up sight that can attach to any other gun with a tactical rail. And then the barrel attachment, which can attach to any other gun with a with um a barrel attachment. And then the light that comes that um that you can attach to any tactical rail and also has one on top, so that's really nifty. Um Pretty much every Nerf gun that I know of has a tactical rail, which is pretty cool. So you can basically attach this to any gun, and this to any gun. So it's really nice. Um, and, okay, and the next good about this gun is you can, you can make so, like, I don't even understand, like, you can, like, usually this would go, like, on the bottom of the barrel attachment right here. You can attach this up here onto this tactical rail. You, like, what I'm trying to say is the possibilities are endless to what kind of blasters you can create. You can just use this as a small little handgun, which is, I love that. Um, that's so fun. Um, okay. And the next good is, if a dart gets jammed, you can just have this little jam door here. Take it out. And then you're ready, unjam it, and you're ready to go. And now on to the bads. This gun only comes with one clip, so if you're in a Nerf war and you want um, another clip to put on back here, and this is like your only Nerf gun that runs on clips or whatever, you're just gonna have to buy another one, which is like another, which is like eight dollars. So yeah, that's pretty annoying. Um, the next, the next bad about this gun is, like for example, if when you um. Like, when you put this barrel attachment on, it makes it more accurate, but it, it takes, it takes, like, ten feet off the distance. So, and think, so, I would recommend taking this off, but the problem is when you do that, then you're only left with one tactical rail. And also, then that tactical rail is right on the loading device. So when you put this on, it's like, you want to, like, you already have it loaded backwards, and you're trying to load it forwards. Like, there's no way to load it without touching this, I and mean, this just comes right off. It's just really, 
you know, stupid. Um, so, and there's also one way to fix that. You just put your hand up, up in front here, and you can, like, pull it forward. Um, okay, good. I didn't jam it. Um, the next bad about this gun is the jam door is so small. I mean, for this gun just gets jammed, I think, more than any other Nerf gun. But still, it's a great gun, so just because it jams a lot, it gets some really good shots, so I wouldn't... I wouldn't just, like, not buy it just because of that one reason. It jams up a lot. And it... Also, for the gun, it jams up a lot. It's a really small jam door. So I... You know... Sometimes I only use this just to see the problem, what's going on. So, and I used to use, like, I take out the clip, and I just reach in there and fix it with my two fingers. Um, and I think that's pretty much all the bads about this gun. Um, okay, now, on to the firing test. Boom. Okay, I'm gonna see you with the firing test. Then we come. Then when we come back here, I'm gonna tell you um, how far the gun shot. Okay. Okay, guys, I'm gonna fire the um, this recon. This clear recon CS6 without the barrel attachment, and then with the barrel attachment, and see how far it shoots with both. Here, now we're gonna start the firing test. This is without the barrel. Holding it straight, I'm gonna fire it into the bathroom there. I'm gonna fire it in three, two, one. Okay. Now I'm gonna put the barrel attachment on and see how far it shoots it in. Okay, this is with the barrel attachment. Okay. So this is with the barrel attachment. See the barrel attachment right there, I just put it on. This is loaded, holding it straight. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna measure it out. Okay guys, so when the when the recon was like this, um, without the barrel attachment, it shot exactly 24 feet and three inches. And when I had the barrel attachment on, so when the gun was like this, it shot only 18 feet. Okay? That, those were the distances. And bye. For now.